see that, Pauline, you see, this is very different. The, why do you think I asked you for yeah. archaeological evidence? Yes. Because that is what you claim you have. Okay. But when I actually questioned you on it, yeah. it turns out you don't have it. <laughs> No, what I'm saying is that we cannot know exactly what it looked like. This is an artist representation, which is exactly what I told him earlier. There you go. Yes, you can have an idea. Okay, what we have here yeah. is something that was commanded yeah. by God to be made. This is an artist's impression based on all of the instructions that God gave him. The two of those go hand in hand. And a bit now, more. Now, and the artist added a bit more to it. We also have Moses involved. He was receiving the instructions. Now, Hashim said, where does Moses, Moses fit in? It doesn't. Just because an artist made an inscription, uh, sorry, made a representation of the Ark of the Covenant yeah. based on the Bible description. Yeah. Remember what he said? Based you said, Bible wait, wait, you Bible said, you said, you have yeah. archaeological evidence. Do we have the Ark of the Covenant in existence today? No, we don't. There you go. No. So it cannot be used as an archaeological evidence. Okay. What you're using again is circular reference from the Bible that it might have looked like that. And that's all it is. Mm. It has got nothing to do with archaeology, Colin. Okay. So back to square well, one. Okay, now we'll move on. First no, we don't move on. We've you haven't provided evidence for Moses, no, I'm sorry. Hashim, Hashim <laughs> asked me to provide him of any evidence that God gave instructions for the... the uh, no, first of all, no, what I just unpacked there yeah. wasn't to do with the archaeological things. It but that's what I asked you. No, you asked me when it came to this, show me anywhere, and they, they saw the picture, show me where God commanded that to be made, that to be made, and that to be made. No, no, I, I showed you... Colin, my first question was what perfect exactly it wasn't it wasn't exactly like that you know that very well there was no reference look there's no mention of what these designs are do you agree so if they away, there's no mention no look i can make a little box here and we'll still ma match that particular okay. reference okay. all i'm saying is that how will you connect an artist representation of what is mentioned in the in the in the old it's testament wait wait how will you connect this yeah. to moses because it's, his name is actually mentioned just prior to that whole description. Yeah, but that's still, that not that's, that's still not archaeological evidence. Okay. So do you right. agree? Look, either you either I'm, you admit that you don't have any archaeological evidence okay. to back up your claims, or you just say the only evidence okay. we have is the, is the Old okay. Testament. Okay. That's all. No, no, I can understand where you're coming from. Good. You're saying this in itself is no more evidence than basically we're going in a circular argument to is this authentic? Exactly, my exactly. point, yes. Finally. Okay, I can understand that. Yeah. The only other layer of evidence I can bring to bear is the fact that we both agree the temple existed. Do we both agree that the temple existed? The temple I'm existed at one time, yeah. Okay. Do you know what the temple was for? For prayers. What else the temple is for? It's for worship, isn't it? Do you know why the temple was built? Uh, to basically cover the holies of the holies. Okay, this is where the gap between what the monotheists understood and what you can understand based on the scant evidence in the Quran. There's a, there's, there's a world away from the reality. I did not even mention the Quran. So no. I think, the, Colin, Colin, wait, 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 wait. With all due respect, yeah. when you make statements like that, sure. yes, without yeah. any evidence, did I mention the Quran? No, 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 no I did not. No, I, I wasn't so don't say scant evidence is in the Quran. Scant. Compared to the evidence that I've got here in my Torah yeah. and the references, you would agree that the Quranic references to the Old Testament would, at the very best, be scant in compared to all of them. Okay. And you don't need them. I'm not saying you need them. Exactly. So the Quran did not come. The, yes. the Quran did not come sure. to prove to us what is in the Old Testament. The Quran is a book yeah. that was given to Prophet confirming Muhammad, the last, yes, the last messengers, yeah. confirming not only what yeah. came before in terms of the okay. teachings, also confirming the previous prophets and the messengers. Right. Yes? No, no, I did not. What I'm saying is that it confirms yeah. that Moses existed, that yeah. that Jacob existed, and the temple that, existed. Uh, that Noah's, Noah existed, and that the Adam existed. And the temple? The, I don't think there's any mention of the temple in the Quran from what I know. So I might be, I might be mistaken, point. But, but, point. but wait a minute, wait a minute, Colin, the details the two, lacking. yeah, we don't need the details for our salvation. This is the difference between us. The details are available, but you say that they're not reliable. Okay, no, 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 no. Don't, 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 don't change what I said. I said, I said the details are not necessary because they are not required for our salvation. Okay, I understand it. Because 
the Quran is the final revelation. Yes. Because the Quran is its the focus criteria, is on revelation. Essentially, and worship the of Quran Allah. is your method of exegesis. No. No. It is. No, it's not. Because the, the Quran. The, Qur you the Quran. The Quran. Believe in anything that the Quran doesn't doesn't va validate. The Quran and the Sunnah both. Okay. So we have the Quran and the Sunnah. Okay. So because I asked Colin to prove to us Moses existed from the Bible, sure. from outside the Bible, unfortunately you were unable to do that. Even though you tried, but you so were unable. I was unable. You were to unable to prove Moses existed without reference to the Bible. Without reference to the yes. Bible. Yes. So from archaeological perspective, okay. you were unable to prove the existence of Moses. Do you think, Can we agree on that? Do you think the Talmud confirms that Moses exists? The Talmud. Mm. Again, the Talmud, when you talk about the Talmud, the oral tradition yeah. of the of the Jewish people, yeah, yeah. again, it's, it's, it's from the scriptures. The, the oral tradition of the people who gave us the Old Testament, the Torah, yeah. have always uni uniformly involved Moses as the centerpiece of their whole religion. He was the person, he was the patriarch of patriarchs. Are you trying to say that, that there's Unless I That's can... still not archaeological evidence. Okay, okay. <laughs> so shall we agree there is no archaeological evidence which right. you claimed earlier okay. with regards to Moses? Are you going to agree with upon that? With regards to Moses? Yes. Okay, yeah, this is an archaeological evidence. What? The, 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 the Talmud. Torah, the Torah. Oh, Nor the Talmud. Please. No, I'm agreeing with you. Allow me to agree with you. I'm not, it's not a trap. I agree with you. I'm agreeing with so you. So you agree I'm what? Saying, that I'm there is no archaeological evidence? That my claim I can give you archaeological evidence has not been backed up by my reference to the Talmud or to the Torah. Okay, so as far as Moses is concerned, okay. we don't have any archaeological evidence. To prove that he exists? Yes. Do we need it? As, as believers, we don't need it. Yeah. But because that is a claim you made. Sorry, uh, yeah. No, no, Colin, Colin. Because that was the standard you used. Yeah. You, you know, remember. Hold on, hold on. Colin, Colin, we were discussing yeah. about the, the hadith. Yes? Okay. I, told, I told you that we have the science of hadith. We have yeah. the chain of narration. Sure. We have the matan, the body itself, to verify. Right. We have the, the, uh, the elmer rajal, which is basically every single node within the chain of narration. Sure. Sure. We know who they were. We know their biographies. Yes? yes. You, on the other hand, have a thousand year gap, which you cannot fill without... The only way you can ascertain... Sorry, the yeah. only way you will believe what Moses said is basically take at face value what you have in the extant manuscripts or in the uh, Pentateuch or in the, um, the, the Dead Sea Scrolls, which, which again date to a thousand years after Moses. Wait, wait, wait. The difference between that yeah. And the hadith that we have, even the weakest hadith, yes, yes. the daif hadith we have, yes, even the daif hadith, the weak hadith, they have the chain of narration, they have the matan, they have the al rijal to back it up. But you see, yeah. unfortunately for the Christians and the Jews, they do not have such a, a rich science to verify their scriptures. All you have to say is, yes, this is what we found in the desk scroll, uh, scroll okay. in, in, in a desert a long time ago. And we are going to believe that is exactly what the people believed when Moses used to preach the Torah. Yeah. But you see, the, this is a claim. This is nothing that you can verify. You know, the problem exists, though, in a whole ream of Quranic verses that actually confirm these books that you're saying I can't prove to be true. So you need the Quran to verify your... Uh, your book for you I do but it's not for me I'm asking about you yeah, how will you said, verify see, I, you I know so many times I've asked you this question Colin how will I, you verify not how will I yeah, verify no, no. how will you yeah. as a believer yeah. verify now you're saying the only way you'll fall back is on the Quran seriously right. no, for you because it's the only but it wasn't for me the question is for you my okay, friend okay how well, will Colin verify that before. your old the Old Testament okay. that you have today right. in possession which you have a thousand year gap between the yeah. extant earliest extant manuscript. Okay, what I have here is a 900 year predating Torah to the Quran. This is the Torah that was accessible by the community of people called the Jews, the ones on whom we base uh, our being people of the book. The monotheistic foundations, they accept this book. They do not dispute it. They don't dispute anything in this book. This has been accepted uniformly within the whole history of Judaism. And from the earliest, earliest copies, this is it. Now, Hashim, doesn't prove it, Hashim, does it? Hashim is That's saying, a claim. That's Hashim a claim. Is saying that the, the fact that this predated Muhammad by 900 years, it doesn't authenticate it. Now, the only way that he can coherently undermine this is to produce me something else. Colin, Colin, Can you, produce Colin me you know what you have done there? 
when I asked you the question, yeah. you put the question back on me. Look, I don't no. need, hold on, hold on, Colin, listen to the question. I, I think that I is a, no, the problem is you're not listening. Listen to the question. Yeah. The question is for you as a Christian. Yeah. Yes? Yeah. Because you believe that the Old Testament and the New Testament yes. are both revelations from God. I do. They're both inspirations from God. Yes. Now, you see, before the Quran came, mm. like you said, 600 years or even more, like 2,000 years sure. since Moses, whatever you say, yeah. despite that, regardless yeah. of that, yes. how will you call in? If you were in the time of, say, um, before Muhammad, 100 years before Muhammad, before even the Quran was revealed. Okay, yeah, listen, listen. Yeah, listen. Yes. Before Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was even born. Yes. Yes? Yeah. Let's say you were a believing Christian. You had that book in your hand. Yeah. Yes? Yeah. How will you call in, yeah. verify what Moses said, mm -hmm. more than 1400 years, or sorry, in that time it will be like 1900 years. Oh, yes? Oh, yeah. How will you verify it? I'd ask the Jews. And you'll take it at face value? I would. You would. Yep. So the Jews will tell you. Who would you ask? Wait a minute. Who would you ask? Wait a minute. One at a time. Yeah. So the Jews the will tell you. The Jews will tell you. They'll show me. No, they will tell they you. They will tell me. They will show yeah, they me. They can show you. So you're telling me that yes. if they show you the book, you'll believe it. They will show me a copy that predates Muhammad by 900 years. You keep saying that. Is, it that, is, that, is that like a point you're trying to score there? No, the, the point is. Just because it predates know, something no. doesn't mean it's true. <laughs> If you can't show me... Otherwise, you'd you become know, a Hindu. You know, well, the Bhagavad Gita predates the Old Testament by so many th hundreds yeah, and thousands of years. Confined, but the thing is, yeah, you I wouldn't see, believe in the Bhagavad Gita see, as the see, original see, share, we're text confined, from God. unfortunately, with time and space and matter. So What's as that? far as asking for evidence, matter meaning physical yeah. things, right? When you say to me, show me evidence... Yes. How will you verify what Moses said? And I go back to the very earliest evidence which is you claim, which is how many years on, but you're saying you need to prove this wrong no, i don't need to no, prove no, no, this no, no, right yep. the onus is on you because no, you're making no, no. the you're the one who believes in yes. i don't need to believe in it right. all i need to know is that torah was given to moses yes. and the angel was given to his show me where colin the colin are. wait a minute let yeah. me finish yeah as a muslim yeah. all i'm required to believe is that the torah was revealed to musa alayhi salam and the angel was revealed to isa alayhi salam yeah. so as far as my faith is concerned Yes, I already believe that. I don't need to produce actual evidence to believe that. That is my faith. Wait, 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 wait a minute. Colin, Colin, wait a minute. Okay. My faith. Yeah, yeah. I can believe that by faith it was it was given to him. I also know that over time these books were corrupted and things were added in it and things were removed from it. Again, this is mentioned in the Quran, in Surah Al-Baqarah, verse 79, in Surah Al-Maidah, verse 38 and so on. So this evidence is already there in the Quran that these books were corrupted. However, the Quran and the Sunnah do not say... Penny's dropped. Penny's dropped. I understand. No, no, I haven't finished. The Quran and the Hadith do not say that all of the Old Testament and all of the New Testaments have been corrupted. Right. It does not say that. Yeah. But there is corruption in it. Right. It does mention that. Okay, Hashim, what you're Let saying... Let me finish. Then... I haven't finished. You need to understand the question I'm asking you. The yeah. question I'm asking yeah. you is that without you yeah. using evidence, i.e. the Quran, because you know you don't believe in the Quran, yes. yes? You don't believe in the Sunnah, yeah, and I'm so not you cannot. To yeah, exactly. So you, so for you, you to, are. for you to take support from the Quran okay. and the Hadith okay. would be pointless because this, you don't believe in it. This is my. This is what puzzles me. What? I'm not required to believe in my faith the Quran. Yeah. Hashim, on the other hand, is bound to accept this surah. O, pe o people of the scripture, you are nothing until you uphold the Torah and the gospel and what has been revealed to you. So what Hashim is saying, I need to provide evidence that goes back beyond the 900 years prior to the Quran. But the only evidence he needs to provide is evidence 900 years later than my evidence. No, I don't. No, because your soul, Read that no, again. No, no. your soul root, your soul source of evidence is something that came 900 years No, after that's it. not my soul evidence. Well, what my, other evidence. My soul evidence, got? my soul evidence is the Quran. Well, I've just said that. Okay. Read that, read that, can, read that, read that verse can, again, the one you just said. Can we just confirm that what, what you've just said? What? I made the statement that your evidence, your source of evidence is 900 years later than my evidence. I'm not what is required. the point you're making? No, the point I'm saying is, you're asking me yeah. to provide you 
with archaeological evidence, scriptural evidence, a whole raft of evidences that actually predate the evidence I've got to show that it goes right back to, to yes, Moses. Yes, exactly, yes. Asking. And, and you haven't been able to, to you, provide that. What I'm saying to you is, yes. I can give you evidence, I can give you a quantity of evidence. You tried, but you failed. Hang on, hang on. And the only evidence you've got yeah. is something which is written 900 years after this that I'm not even required to believe in. No, no, hold on, hold on. This is what but I don't you understand. See, you see that, Colin, sense. you see, this is very, very different. The, why do you think I asked you for yeah. archaeological evidence? Yes. Because that is what you claim you have. Okay. But when I actually questioned you on it, yeah. it turns out you don't have anything. Pin me down on it. I did. Right, pin yes. me down again on it. Okay. Pin me down. Pin, pin okay. you down? Okay. Wait, wait. What, first and foremost, do yes. you agree that that is the evidence that you claim you had? I'm claiming that there is archaeological evidence yes. to support the existence of the temple and I can show you very clearly from the people of the book what the purpose of the temple was. But my question wasn't about the temple. Remember, my question was about Moses. And you and you said you had archaeological evidence archaeological to prove these things. Archaeological evidence that links the existence of Moses with the temple is, is what no, no. I, I... You know how you... And I succeeded okay. in Colin, doing Colin, that. Colin, Colin, you, know you, 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 know, well you, you know how you link Moses to the temple, if there was an inscription on the temple, wait, no, 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 that is not archaeology. If you, if no, you find, listen, listen, if you find an inscription on the temple that mentions the name of Moses, for example, then it would link Moses to the temple archaeologically. What you're saying, you have evidence in here, wait, wait, Colin, Colin, no, no. I don't think you understand no, the meaning no. of archaeological think, evidence. Uh, in order for you to Moses link Moses, no, I didn't say Moses, no. I said the evidence of yeah. Moses and existence, yeah, yeah. yes, Next week, inshallah. Inshallah. Yeah. is for you to find an inscription yes. on a temple, gotcha. Gotcha. on a gotcha. temple, gotcha. and then I would say yes, okay. you have a link yeah. to Moses, okay. Okay. and this is proved tell me archaeologically. What you think of this. Tell me if you think this is an adequate answer to what you've just yeah, said. Yeah, go on. You tell me. Right. What I've tried to do, and I think I've already proven it, I'm trying Please. to link Moses with the archaeological evidence of the temple. I can't provide you with archaeological evidence of Moses because That's I don't know where his bones are. But That's I all I wanted show to show you that in the history of the Jewish people, they had a Moses temple. and the temple. Now the temple is my link to the archaeological evidence. No, it's not. It is. It's not. Unless you find an inscription of Moses in the temple, then you'll have an archaeological evidence I of Moses. You. All you have is an archaeological no. evidence that a temple existed. Uh -oh. And even then, this temple, what have you got of the temple today? The Western Wall? The Western Wall was basically built much later on. I'd ask yes? Jews you, that. you know the stones you see there? These are not the real yeah. stones. Yeah. These were built later Hashim, on. Hashim, in the Quran, does it mention the temple or anything to do with its specifications or its purpose? Does it mention No, it, it doesn't. No, not that I know. It does in here. This is this has never been disputed by the history of the Jewish people going way, way back. In fact, there is no recorded part of the history of the Jewish people that does anything else but validate what I've just said. But and you say, hang on, you, are you saying? But Colin, I never, I never right. asked you about the existence of the temple. Right. You see, you keep going back to the temple because that's yes. the only thing you have archaeologically available. Of course, of yes. Course. Yeah, what else but you see, the me? reason, the reason you want to now focus on the temple, yes. is because you're unable to answer my question about the evidence of Moses. What I'm trying to do, I'm trying to link Moses with the temple and show that the story, if you want, you can't pick the temple. And Moses apart. They are in I didn't, I'm not picking them no, up. No, but this is my I'm point. asking you where's the evidence that okay. Moses existed unless you show me an inscription in the temple that mentions Moses. But because you do not have that from 2,000 year old, sorry, not 2,000, in the case of Moses, it'll be 3,500 3, year old. So if you have a 3,500 year old evidence of an inscription that mentions Moses, then that would be considered as archaeological evidence in well, your in your in your okay. in the absence of that wait right. that's okay, not archaeology okay. well, look, i'm going to give you some look, i think we're um, going in circles i think okay, yeah. what, what we need no, yeah we should call yeah. it a day unless okay, fair enough. Fair what i'm saying is Colin, do yeah, not make yeah, yeah, yeah do okay. not make assertions that okay. you cannot substantiate yes okay. i can show you things from the quran i can show you you can show me things from the bible yeah. but you see that is something which is faith based but obviously, there are things within the Quran mm. and within the, the Bible which you can back up from archaeology. I'm not saying okay. there aren't any. Okay? okay? Yeah. All I'm saying is that when it comes to certain things, like for example, I showed you a gap of more than a thousand years between yeah. the extant manuscripts 
that you have today mm. of the Old Testament yeah. and, the t and the time of Moses more than mm. a thousand years. Yeah. Now, how will you fill this gap? You said you have archaeological evidence. Wait, That's wait. Really you said you have archaeological yeah. evidence. Yeah. And then I asked you, can you show me Moses existed yeah. from archaeological yeah. evidence? Yeah. And all you were able to show me is a temple. And even the temple, which you showed me, is actually an artist, uh, an artist's uh, representation of what the temple might have looked okay. like. Yes? Yeah, this yeah. is look. This is nothing. There's nothing wrong in that. Yeah. An artist imagining sure, what a temple sure. might have looked like. But as yeah. far as the archaeological yeah. evidence for Moses is concerned, see where you're coming from, there is none. Hashim, just kind of to round this up. Yeah, sure. Because, because in Leviticus, God is saying to Moses, the Lord says to Moses, "Tell your brother Aaron he shall not enter at any time into the holy place." Now, unfortunately, Hashim didn't know what the holy place was or its purpose behind the veil before the mercy seat i read out the description of the mercy seat the mercy seat was in between the two cherubs which is clearly referenced here in my talk you didn't tell us what was the purpose by the way seat, which is on the ark or he shall die i will appear in the cloud above the mercy seat that's the purpose Can I just sorry what is the purpose again the purpose of the mercy seat is where the presence of god would appear on the day of atonement yeah. once what year, happens on the day of atonement hold in this is the Day of Atonement. What happens on the Day of Atonement? Huh? What do they do on the Day of Atonement? The corporate sins of the Jewish no nation are atoned for in vicarious sacrifice. Exactly. So what happens to the sacrifices huh? afterwards? Huh? The yes. blood of the of the, of the Which is exactly what I said. Into, Thank you very much. The blood of the is taken into Which is exactly what I said. They used to actually, you, they used to put the burnt offerings yeah. in this place, in the Holies of Holies, yeah. yes? And then some sort of a flame would appear. Am I right? Yes, so don't tell me I didn't know this. No, well, you, earlier on you said you didn't. No, I said, I you told you, but you, you were not listening. Me, the, the, no, no, I said they would the put the burnt offerings. You said the sacrifices happened in the Holy Spirit. No, place. I didn't say that. I said the burnt offerings were put there. Did you not hear? No, the blood of the burnt offering. The burnt offering couldn't be put in there because it was being okay, burnt. Okay, the blood. The blood. Now you're getting technical with me. Off. No, the blood is the blood. Okay, anyway, look. Anyway, Hashim, you yeah. know, God bless you. I mean, that was a bit of a fight, but we did well. I think we did yeah. well. I'm, I'm happy anyway. with it. I'm happy with well, it. Okay, okay, thank you very much, Colin, for, your, sure. for the discussion. And Jazakallah Khairan for supporting us and uh, for helping us and making dua for us, uh, especially for the da'wah in the park. And maybe... Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has provided us this opportunity in the park every Sunday to give da'wah and alhamdulillah we got brothers like Colin who have discussions and we learn from each other yes so sometimes it, a dialogue turns into a debate and a debate might get a bit um, can I own up to a mistake? <laughs> we, we get carried sure, away sometimes. Sure. And, and you know, I think part of the problem is we don't ask for God's blessing on the conversation, which we should. Yeah. We should ask for God to be here. And can I just say as a, as a Christian, um, the Lord thy God is one. Hear, O Israel, the Lord thy God is one. I believe in one God. Alhamdulillah. Amen. God Alhamdulillah. Bless you. Yes. And we associate we'll no partners with him. Uh, no, give to the, the owners. So yeah, assalamu alaikum alhamdulillah. So we learn from you guys as well, because sometimes we, obviously as being humans, we make mistakes and you correct us and we take that on board positively. So criticism, which is constructive, is welcome. That goes for both the Muslims and the non-Muslims. So as humans, we make mistakes. We are learning constantly uh, during the process of the da'wah as well. And inshallah, you guys are learning as well from the knowledge that we provide over here. So Alhamdulillah, like they say, seeking knowledge is from the cradle to grave and we should all aspire to gain as much knowledge as possible, both in terms of ilm of, of, the, of, um, of the deen and ilm of the dunya as well. So we can make the most of it in this dunya and which will benefit us in the akhirah as well. Inshallah. Assalamu alaikum